going guys, I'm Silver 93 and welcome to a game called Ori in the Blind Forest. This game's nearly a year old but I found out about it a few weeks ago and it looks and sounds absolutely incredible so I just had to buy it on Steam because it was in a sale. But um, as well as, well it's going to be a blind playthrough but also if you, if you have the chance to watch this in 60 frames a second then please do because it's going to look silky smooth in 60 frames a second but yeah it's going to be a blind playthrough so I'm going to start a new file I've already seen the intro but I'm just going to shut up and let you watch it this music's amazing by the way Right, so now for this part we just get to play as this guy for a little bit. He looks like he looks like Baymax from Big Hero 6, but wearing like a black fur coat. And we're in Swallow's Nest apparently. We can jump and that's all we can do. But yeah, this this game looks absolutely incredible and it's all 2D. It's like a like a 2D platformer. If anyone's played the Metroid games, then the the way that the game works is apparently a bit like that. But I've only played the intro, that's all I've done. Alright, so now we get to play as this little I think this guy is called Ori because you play you play for you you play with this guy throughout the whole game. So yeah, this is Ori. Um you can't do much, we can just run and jump. But just Just look at how amazing this game is. It's just damn. And it's like Ori and this big bear guy are friends and they They go exploring in the fields together. But yeah, we're controlling him right now, we can move left and right and everything. We do a little dance. <laughs> and as you can see, we've got to get to the other side to get all those nuts on the tree. These nuts! <laughs> Can I ask, how does that bear, like, how does that log withstand the weight of the bear? <laughs> uh. Yeah, I, I, I love the graphics and the music of this game. It's it's so colourful, and yeah. Oh, here we got a little explosion. Let's go take a look. On that fateful night. When I lit the skies ablaze. The music is awesome. So sad already. It's it's creating like sort of a prologue. Is that what it's called to the story? Hmm. And now the world's all dark and destroyed. 
by that weird explosion from earlier. So sad. Through the passage of time. Sorry if I'm not talking that much, I just really want you to pay attention to this intro. It's really good. So now we've got to carry these nuts back to the cave den. Oh, there's like a ghost of that big Hero 6 guy. <laughs> Baymax in a black fur coat. Oh, it's like all the memories of the past. Oh, so sad. Oh, there's like a silhouette of a spider in front of the screen. It's really cool. This game's atmosphere and animation, it, it apparently got a... And a, like an award for like best indie game or something, uh, a recent game awards things. I don't know, I haven't found out that much about it, but this game's got overwhelmingly positive reviews. So, Ooh. here's the sad part. Right, now we get to control him again, but he's he feels slow and like he's deliberately weak and sad. It's it really sets the mood. Don't worry, we haven't got to the gameplay yet, just wait. <laughs> this is all the intro. Oh. When you think about it, Ori looks a little bit like a Pokemon, or like a sort of glowing white version of Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. Oh. Come on, you can make it. Nope. And nope. <laughs> Rip. And the last breath was drawn. Or was it?
That's one of the most awesomest intros I've seen since Kingdom Hearts 2. <laughs> Okay, so now we're actually at the main part of the game. Um, I'm sorry that the intro took about 10 minutes, but I just didn't want you to miss it. But uh, yeah, this part of the right has got a load of red spikes, so we can't go this way. So we're just going to go left. Uh, hold A to jump higher, so we've got to get on that rock. So yeah, in case you haven't noticed, this is a, a platformer, which is apparently like... They call it Metroidvania, or it's like Metroid and Castlevania. That's the sort of way that the levels are designed. Oh crap, uh, guessing we can't go that way, just gotta go down the bottom. Hold down and press A to jump through platforms, alright. It's a bit like Little Big Planet, how it does that. Uh, gotta jump over there. Okay, this is simple enough. What's this? Ooh, I got a thing! You found a life shard. Collect these to restore your vitality. Okay. So that's like restoring the health. What's this? You found an energy cell. You can now collect and use more energy. Remember that you can use energy to create a soul link and save your game. So it requires points to save my game. Hold B to create a soul link and save your game. Alright. Game saved. Okay, that's pretty clever. Uh... Okay, whoa! Oh my god, that made me jump. What? What? How? Do we jump on him? Like Mario? Oh, no, okay. Jesus Christ, that scared the living daylights out of me. Alright, what do we do? Just jump over him? Oh, do we ram him into that wall? Yes! Haha! Yeah. <laughs> You found some spirit light, and when you fill the gauge, you'll gain an ability point. Alright. Seems simple enough. God, Ori's a fast runner, look at that. It's like Sonic there, Jog 1. <laughs> Alright, oh, can we go in the lock? Oh, we can go behind it. Found some. You found a small spirit light container. Spirit light has been added to your gauge. Find more spirit light containers to quickly gain ability points. Okay. Lovely jubbly. Deep in the forest, Ori found what was lost. Okay. Press X to pick up the tiny light. Alright. Ooh. Okay. My strength is returning. I am Cyan, the light in the eyes of the spirit tree. I was last in this glen when she loosened her grip. I can guide you on your journey if you allow me to come. But be still, can you hear that? They must have followed you here. Whoa! Tap X. What? Oh, we can attack. That's cool. Whoa. You gained an ability point. Create a soul link and tap B near it to access the ability tree. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, cool. You can attack like that. That's really awesome. Alright, so now we're just going to attack all of these. I love this. It, it's really cool. It's a really nice game. <laughs> I know I'm saying that a lot, but I just really want to express how I feel about this game. Like, my reviews as I play it. Their light shall return to me. These words the spirit tree once said. In the glade past the caverns will find him. There's a path up ahead. Oh, that rhymes. Oh, sweet, there's a world map. I didn't know there was a world map in this. Uh, guessing... Wait, no. Hollow Grove? Do we go there, or is that just where we were? Uh, Sunken Glades. Let's go to Hollow Grove. New objective, find the spirit tree. Alright. Press that to view the map. Alright. So... Alright, so that's where we need to go, which is the spirit tree, and that's where I am now. So, alright, I get this. Oh, that's the that's the ability finger used earlier. Is that a save point now? Okay. It's an ability point. Experience. This bar indicates how much spirit light Ori collected. Absorb 39 more to gain another ability point. Okay, and we use ability points to gain all of these new abilities and stuff. Alright, I get it. 
Ah, shoot. Ah, wh what? Okay. So Ori has health, and if you die, you just respawn to where you were earlier. Alright, that's understandable. Um, oh, sh shoot. What? Alright, now water kills us as well. Damn, it's like everything in this game is out to kill me. Oh, flipping hell! Right, can, can we double jump or anything? No, we can't. Alright. Is there anything down here? Nope. Alright. It's very acrobatic of Ori. Look at that. He did like a backflip then. Yeah, look at that. It's awesome. Alright. So, water kills us. Could attack that guy. Oh, shoot. Alright. Attacking is pretty easy when you think about it. It's like a 2D Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> oh, we can attack these walls as well. Alright. Hold A to jump even higher. Okay. Actually, because I couldn't get there earlier, I'm going to go down this way. See if there's anything I missed. Oh, hello. Spirit wells are ancient structures connected by the roots of the spirit tree. Use their light to replenish your strength when you, whenever you're weary. Oh, so this is like a, a health thing. Alright, so it's like those pods in Metroid, like Super Metroid. Alright, I'm just going to get up here and then we're probably going to end the episode because it's been around 18 minutes. Uh, Alright. Now I've got to get up here. Can we attack that? No. Ah, oh, now that we've got the spirit light, we can go up this way and then find the tree. Feels really satisfying to attack load of stuff. Die! There we go. Alright. Uh, yeah, we'll find the spirit tree and then I'm going to win the episode. Uh, what's that? You found a keystone. Keystones are used to open spirit gates. Remember that each spirit gate will require a different number of keystones. Alright, so we want to make sure that we've got enough. Is that a spirit gate? Yeah. This spirit gate blocks us. They were built for protection before the days of decay. The required keystones must be nearby. To reach the spirit tree, we must pass the spirit cavens that lie beyond this gate. Alright. So we're going to find all the keys to open the door. Uh, well, we've got one already, so is that enough? Press X to open the spirit gate. Oh, we need one more. Alright. Shouldn't be too difficult to find. Hold right trigger to grab and move. Yeah, in case you didn't know, I'm using a Xbox 360 controller for this. Because apparently this game works much better with a controller. Not gonna lie, Xbox 360 have really comfortable controllers. Much better than PS3, to be honest. Alright, there we go. Open the door. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Alright, we've got another enemy. Spirit Cavens or Hollow Grove? Uh, do we have enough enemy? To, do we have enough enemy? Do we have enough energy to make a save point? Because I might as well save here. Yeah, there we go. All right. Well, uh, let's see ability tree. I've oh, I've got I've got to gain one more spirit light to get an energy energy point, and then I can get one of these abilities. But uh, I'm going to leave that for the for the next episode. So. Thank you very much for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in episode 2. Goodbye!